Hey. <clears throat> Good morning. Oh, wow. A lot of people. Thanks for coming in, peeps. Um, so, this is a topic that I've actually been thinking about for a really long time, but then yesterday was the straw, as they say, that broke the camel's back. Um, and you know what? I'm okay actually kind of naming people because it is what it is. Um, but basically, wow, there's, there's something really wrong with Meerkat. I'm not seeing any comments here. Let me see here. What's the, uh, what's, I don't know what's going on. Um, <clears throat> oh, there you go. Now, all right, now we're back. So I uh, gave a lecture at, at Israel at an Israeli college uh, a few weeks back. Um, you know, I talked about marketing and tech and, uh, you know, startups and all that. And then I, uh, good morning, Moshe. And then I got an email a few days after that saying, really enjoyed your lecture, blah, blah, blah. I work for Matrix, which is a big high-tech company in Israel. You know, quite a big one, a uh, very serious big one. And um, he says to me, I work for Matrix and I would love uh, to talk about how you can help us and, you know, if there's anything you can do for us. And I'm like, you know, okay, sure, I'm happy to help. And so he made an intro to the, <clears throat> he made an intro to the head of marketing or the woman who runs marketing at Matrix. Uh, we were communicating back and forth for maybe two weeks about um, having a call. And then yesterday was the call. So we get on the call and it was probably, no, 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 not probably. It was definitely the most awkward 10 minute call I've ever had in my entire freaking life. This is how the call went. Hi, Hillel. Hi, Shira. So. Tell me what you can do for us. I said, what? Well, what, what do you, what can you do for us? And I said, uh, you guys reached out to me. I don't know what I can do for you. I'm not like an agency that's trying to pitch you to get your business. What do you need from me? Like you asked me for help. What do you need? What are your needs? What can I do for you? She's like, well, what do you do? I'm like, what do I do? We've been planning this call for three weeks. And you couldn't like open Google and figure out who I am. I didn't say that like that because she's kind of an important person, but like she did zero research, like zero. And she had no context to this call. I, of course, had no context. I thought she knew what she wanted from me. So we were on this call for 10 minutes from me trying to explain who I am and her trying to figure out why this intro was made and what they thought I can do for them. Um, and I, I, I cannot tell you how frustrating that was. Not, again, noxious and like condescending thing to say to someone, Google me, but like, what do you say to someone when they say to you, who you, who are you? And you're like, you know, what would I tell them? I don't know. Follow me on Twitter. Like, what, what do you say? You know, it was very, very frustrating. So let's start with the fact that if you're making an intro for someone, okay, whoever that person is, it doesn't matter. If you're making an introduction, um, <clears throat> we're on audio only again, super annoying. But that, that, uh, that was kind of like something that I've been thinking about for a very, very long time. If you're making an intro between two people, provide context. Why are you making the intro? Who's to benefit from this intro? Why you think it's a, a, an intro worth making? But just give context to either or to both sides, preferably to both sides, uh, which leads me to my next point, but I really do wanna wait for the video to come back before I go on to my next point, <clears throat> is besides providing context for the intro, if you're gonna make an intro to someone, ask them first. Right? So for example, and, and you know, I'm gonna say this example, don't take it the wrong way, but if someone wants, you know, if a startup wants me to like tweet about them, then you know, that's not, then just don't make that intro. Like I'm not gonna like tweet about some company. Like, you know, if you wanna meet with me and talk and see how I can help and see, you know, if I can, great. But if a company says, hey, you know Hillel Fogg, I want him to tweet about us. Don't be like, Hillel, meet this person who wants you to tweet about him. No, that's not okay. So don't, so ask a person before, you know, say, is it okay if I intro you to this person? The best way to do that, and this is what I've always asked people to do, is if you want an intro to someone, email me and say, hi, Hillel, you know, I know David is a very big investor and he loves e-commerce and we're building a great platform for e-commerce, would you mind introing me? And then I'll forward it to David and say, David, may I intro? He'll say yes, then I'll make the intro. But but don't just like randomly intro, and by the way, I gotta tell you that I am guilty of this myself. Years ago, I used to really just do kind of cold intros. When I, when I did believe that both sides were to benefit from the intro, I didn't like, but I, I once introed um, someone to Omer Perchik, the CEO of Anydo, and a good friend, and he was like, "Dude, ask me before you make such intros." Uh, and he and he, uh, at, you know, at the time I was like, "What the hell? Why?" You know, but he's right. He's completely right. And I, unfortunately, I get way too many cold intros that are really not relevant to me, really not you know interesting to me, and kind of annoying actually. So if you're gonna make an intro to someone, ask them. Number one, we said provide context, right? If you're gonna make an intro. Why are you making this intro? Why? 
Is it for one side to benefit, to the other side to benefit? Just tell the sides why you're making this intro. Number two, ask the, the two parties if they want the intro. So if you're asking someone for an intro, then email them and say, can I intro? And let them forward it on. Which leads me to my next point. Where are you making these intros? Right? Where are you making the intros? Oh, what is up? Let's read some, some questions meanwhile here. Um, had this happen yesterday. Good morning from USA. Good morning, good morning. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, if you have any questions, all problems with only Android users? What does that have to do? Really bad connection, no audio either. Oh man, what is going on? I don't know what's up here. This is, uh, <clears throat> this is a pretty big fail. I don't know why. Uh, I guess I jumped on and the whole presentation went away. Are you uh, still on audio? I don't know. I'm going to wait until it comes back. Let me know if you guys uh, you can, you can hear me or whatever because freezing Android. Okay, I'm back. Somebody give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Can you hear me? Is it okay? Is it connected? Are we good? Nothing at all now. I don't know. I'm waiting here. I'm waiting. There you go. I'm back. Only again. Gosh. I don't know. Uri, I know you're here. I love you, man, but you got to fix this and see me or whatever. I'm back. Only if you could see me. Just joking. A double opt in intros are the only way to go. Hey Jeff. Uh, okay, so I hope, I hope I'm back now. I will say one more thing. BCC is poison, okay? If you're sending journalists a pitch, then use BCC. That's about the only time you, sh you should use BCC. If you're introing, if you're asking for permission to intro someone, right? If I'm emailing you saying, may I intro you to this person? Don't BCC the person. A, it's setting you up for, for disaster. If they b reply all to that, that's just, and that's happened to me several times with important people and it's very, very embarrassing. So that's number one, do not BCC uh, because of that possible outcome. Just generally though, it's just like dishonest. You know, you're, 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 you're emailing someone and you're not letting them know you're CCing the person and it's, it's just dishonest. And I don't know, I feel like, you know, what's his name? Uh, uh, my friend Roy Adler from uh, WeWork. Um, and when you send the calendar invite again, provide context, we're back on audio. And this is extremely frustrating. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Oh man. I mean, I'm waiting here and uh, <clears throat> let's see if I can get some solid connection. Um, I don't know, in like a minute or two. And I, I really am sorry about this guys. I don't know, uh, not freezing on Android, I'm on iOS. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I have perfect connection, unfortunately. Um, I don't know, there's something weird going on here today with uh, with Meerkat servers, maybe. I don't know what it is, but uh, hopefully we'll come back soon and I'll be able to stand still and then we'll be solid for a few minutes and then I'll just go over everything I said. Uh, but right now we're just on audio and it's super frustrating. Super, super frustrating. Um, I'm not gonna be able to share this video. I'm probably gonna have to do this again. Um, do you guys hear me? I mean, let me know if you hear me, at least audio, because I know you don't see me. It says audio only. Well, we're back on Vimeo. Let me know if you hear me and see me now. Um, audio is on, just no visual. All right, well, that's good. At least that, I'm sure I'll get kicked off again now in a second. I don't know what's up. Something's very weird today with Meerkat. I don't know what's up, but um, listen, what we said, bottom line is, guys, now that I'm standing at a red light, provide context on in an intro. Ask for permission to send an intro. Send the intro over email, not Facebook, not Twitter. And um, on the actual calendar invite, when, you, when you're meeting someone, also provide context. Write the title so that it's, when I see it, the day comes and I see that, that calendar invite, I know what it's about. I know what the context of the meeting is. Don't just write my name. I don't want my name appearing on my calendar. That is super annoying. Um, I'm probably gonna get kicked off again, so. You know, maybe I'll do this stream again because this is not much of a solid uh, <clears throat> stream. I can't really come on audio again. Jeez, what is going on today? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what's up. But uh, I'm very close to uh, WeWork, to the office, and um, I'm going to end the stream soon. But I really would like to end it with, with a, a solid signal and solid audio and video. So I'll wait maybe a few minutes. But uh, what else can I say about intros? Um, you know, keep them short, obviously. You know, don't send a, a thousand word email. I mean, that's just true about email in general. No one likes long emails. So keep it short and, and relevant, right? Why are you making this intro? You know, what's the goal? And that's it. Just, you know, very simple and straightforward and try to make it mutually beneficial, right? If you're, unless 
one, someone needs something from someone else and then they ask the someone else, is it okay, can you help this person? Because just sending a cold, cold intro for someone to ask you for a favor is super annoying. Um, just, I mean, as on the receiving end, you should, you know, try to help people. I don't need to talk about that. I try to, you know, I don't say no very often, but, but when someone's very aggressive and, you know, too aggressive for my liking, then I might say no. Um, we're still on audio. Uri, fix this, man. I don't know what's going on today, but I'm going to try to read the tweets afterwards. Uh, audio is good. I can see you now. Audio, no video. Totally agree on BCC. You guys can hear you. Uh, not just freezing on Android. I don't know what's, I really, this is the worst it's ever been. I have no idea what's going on. Um, really, I don't know what's going on here. Well, there, I'm, I'm back. Uh, let's see who's here, give some shout outs here. Mika, what's going on? A lot of eggs, unfortunately. Guys, why are you using eggs as your, as your uh, profile pictures? Add a profile picture, it doesn't cost money. Hey Julie, good morning. You rock, thank you so much for coming in always. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's super, super buggy today. But <clears throat> right now I'm on, so I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, what else can I say about intros? Let me just think what else there is that's a pain point about intros. Um, let's just go over, for those that just came in, what we said. Uri, super buggy today. Look at the server, see what's up with my, what happened here today. I don't know what's going on. There's like a white, there's a white, I'm going to take a screenshot. There's a white line on the top here. Like there's something buggy about this. I don't know what's going on, but um Anyway, what did I say? We said, um, if you're making an intro, provide context, because I had a really painful call yesterday that neither of us had any context of why we were having the call, but we were introduced, and it was a very, very awkward and painful conversation. Provide context, ask permission if you're introing. Um, if you want the intro, email someone and say, would you mind introing me so they can forward it. Uh, email over, uh, intro over email, not Facebook and not Twitter. I mean, Twitter's okay, but it's, it, there's no way to track it, there's no way to search it, I don't have context, you know? Not DMs, just email the intro. Um, and in the calendar invite itself also, the title of the event should be relevant. Maybe your name and the person's name, the name of your company, the, type, the topic, something. Not just the person's name, because if in my calendar it's going to say Hillel Fold, that is not very valuable for me at all. Uh, what kind of intros are we talking about? I'm talking about business intros, right? Make an intro to someone for business. So you want someone to help you with marketing, with business, with business, whatever it is. Email intro, like a, a email, you know, business intro, not a... You know, let's go out to dinner kind of thing but like an email business intro uh do it do it do it the right way because it's it's very very annoying when it's done without context or without permission very very annoying anyway folks uh that is really all i see where we are back right now i really really hope that the video i don't uh, see how the video could possibly be even worth sharing right now with all the times it froze with all the times it disconnected but uh i try to share my meerkat videos afterwards for people to watch but this one's gonna be a little bit annoying, so maybe I'll do a take two and do it again, I don't know, but uh, I do appreciate you guys coming in and sticking around even though it was super, super buggy this time. Um, how many people? 132, not bad. Uh, I'm loving Meerkat, and um, I, I tried to share this video and my other videos on Twitter later on if you wanna take a look. Uh, I am at WeWork Tel Aviv right now, pulling into the parking lot in a minute, so I'm gonna hang up now, and uh, again, thanks for coming in, and I hope that if you're sending email intros, you're doing it the right way and providing context and asking permission and use, using email and doing it the right way because it is very important. It's, it might sound like, uh, you know, kind of like nitpicking, but it really, really isn't. It's very, very important to do it right. That is all, folks. Have a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you may be in the world. Thanks for coming in. Take care.